Well, welcome everybody. Today is going to be a spicy, spicy a meatball, a spicy, spicy welcome to Wraith market update. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to get into it. What we're going to do is burn through the unlimited and then we'll get to the alpha. Uh, I know that's why you're here, but before you go anywhere, before you skip forward, let me just tell you about Mitch over the Midtown Merchant. Uh, Mitch has a bunch of new singles on the website. If you use my promo code, code just love 10, you'll save 10%. Uh, and Mitch has been turned into a really, really good friend. We've been chatting all day, all week about these market prices. It's been great. And uh, yeah, make sure you shop for Mitch. If you can't find the cards you're looking for there, head on over to TCG Player and use my affiliate link in the in the description. It really does help the channel quite a bit. But if you love the content, if you are somebody who wants to support the channel, uh, really your Patreon or my Patreon is the best bet for you. Uh, and I would love it if you would join the Patreon. Uh, it really does help support me. And I am trying to make this extremely, extremely valuable to you. Uh, we do have a collection tracker, uh, you know, and we are working on collection tracker version 2.0. Uh, that's going to add some uh, additional things to it. Uh, but the collection tracker uses all my market update prices. But then you also get $5 off all my case breaks and, and box breaks breaks and uh, I am really trying to give you a lot of deals and uh, trying to hook you up with boxes from you know compete sports I uh, gave some of my patrons boxes at, at prices that were pretty good they were excellent sorry George they were amazing they were you know $80 a box it was awesome uh, so anyway uh, the patrons are going well and uh, if you want to support the channel patron is the best way to do that anyway let's get into it all right here we go we're talking about welcome to wraith we're going to go to unlimited first we're just going to burn through it real quick uh, sealed product because everybody wants to talk about alpha sealed product you can get boxes uh, it's still at 95 bucks this is I haven't even updated this the the market is um, you know you can get them for 80 bucks if you're patient on the market uh on facebook and, and that kind of thing but you got to kind of wait for somebody like georgia compete sports to put them out and then you know they sell out super fast but if you need a box now you can go to ebay open market uh and get them for about 95 to 100 bucks still not a big deal uh, and we did just have a resupply, so a lot of the cards are soft, especially, you know, the the uh, Fabled cards. Heart of Fandale is down, you know, 5%. This is kind of what happens anytime we get a new shipment of boxes in. Uh, we see some of the high-value cards dip in price as people are making their money back. So nothing to be panicked about. Uh, it's just kind of soft the last couple of weeks, and we're at about 525 for Heart of Fandale. You can see, like, these little spikes. Every one of these spikes is, this is when product dried up. And then the product, uh, you know, the, the product kind of, um, uh, we get a new shipment in and it kind of slowly goes down and then the product dries up and it goes up. And so we're still going down uh, a little bit. So, uh, all right, let's uh, keep going here with, uh, sorry, I just got completely distracted. The legendaries, I'm really excited to talk about alpha. Uh, the legendaries, you know, a lot of, you know, movement on specific ones like scab skin and tectonic plating are both kind of up. Uh, but you know, Brave Forge Bracers is down and st the Spring Tunic is down. Again, some of the higher value cards dropping, some of the lower value cards going up. As some new decks are popping up, I know that Brute is starting to be played uh, quite a bit. And uh, I don't think Guardian's really being played that much. But uh, so Mask of Momentum is also up as, you know, Ninja. Anyway, lots of things moving and grooving. Brave Forge Bracers was really uh, kind of elevated since Skirmish started because a lot of the streamers like uh, Rob at Tolarian Dropouts and Tower Number 9 have been playing warrior decks so i think those prices were kind of inflated and now that people have gotten their cards they're kind of dropping back down to what they were so all in all no real change your average legendary is sitting at 146 bucks the majestic rainbow foils we had a 10 percent loss um enlightened strike not really moving at all ancestral empowerment was kind of the big key card that dropped spinal crush dropped a little bit and blood rush bellow as well again nothing like significant but there's just some softening tome of fandel going down to 35 dollars. that's three weeks in a row that tome has been down uh but again just some softening as more and more boxes are opening the market kind of receives more and more product and you can see that happened once before too it was a shorter blip last time uh but it kind of happens as new and more boxes enter the market so the majestic ev uh, did i tell you your average your average majestic is sitting at 32 dollars that was for the rainbow foil. The, the non-foil majestic, no change, a 1%. Uh, everything is sitting about the same. It, you know, there's just, there's so many people who are still playing and who are hopping into the game, so many new players hopping in, that it is keeping up with the prices and people are still trying to complete sets and play new decks. And, you know, we're kind of getting to the point where a lot of people are sick of their old deck and they're changing decks. So lots of cards are moving hand and nothing is really sitting um, but you know, we are kind of flatlined here on the price. So average regular majestic is around 15 bucks. 
Uh, the rainbow foils will burn through this uh, are down about 9%. No huge change. Everything is just kind of down across the board. Your remembrance is down about a dollar. Crazy Brew is also down about a dollar. Uh, no huge change. You can see the market has been very soft with uh, the super rares. That's the rainbow foils. And a lot uh, is true about the, the non-foils. We're at five weeks in a row, I think, four weeks in a row of negative. Barely negative, though, this week. Uh, remember, it's losing eight, eight bucks. Uh, you know, and those super rares, there's just so many. I say this every week. There's just so many that are printed in each set that uh, in each box that the, the prices are just kind of soft all the time. So, all right. The rares. Remember, I just used TCG low on the rares. I will mention Drone of Brutality. Last week, everybody cared about Drone of Brutality. This week, it's like nobody does. Braces went from 19 to 7, 22 to 6, and 15 to 7. If you bought Drone of Brutality, you needed to listen to me and not buy Drone of Brutality because that was ridiculous. I mean, I guess it's still up if you bought it at a dollar, but these prices are going to just keep going down. Um, hope no way bottom at $19. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you got burned by Drone of Brutality for one final time as it got banned uh you know our cards are down 40 percent because of drone brutality uh nothing to worry about there uh the rare cards i mean it's gonna be very similar drone brutality even you know all down 50 percent here uh driving everything down 19 percent uh common rainbow foils your your comments you know the, the equipment still have value they're still moving they still have value uh all in all though you know just down six percent and then let's go ahead to our EV calculation. Your average box is going to have 42 rares, four foil rares, four super rares, one foil super rare. You're going to get two majestics in a box. And one in four boxes is going to have a foil majestic. One in four boxes is going to have a legendary. And one in 10 or one in 40 is with the number that I use for the fabled. Uh, and so here we go. Uh, 119.55 is your average. If you were to open four boxes, actually, sorry, if you were to open 40 boxes, you can kind of expect that you would get $120 per box. But remember, you're probably not opening 40 boxes. If you're only going to open one, you're really only sitting around $70 uh, because you're missing out on the kind of the legendary and missing out at the fabled. So uh, that's kind of what this value does. Uh, so keep in mind, it's always better to open a case as opposed to opening a box in flesh and blood. Your EV chart, let's compare that to last week. We are down 7% across the board. Last week we were at 128, this week we're at 120. And let's get to our top 10 cards to gain value. Uh, route uh, gain went from two to 274. That's a 37% increase. Scab skin went from 90 to 115. That's a 27% increase. And reckless swing uh, gained 20 cents for 8%. Uh, let's see, tectonic plating, mask of momentum, and the E-Strike. Uh, well, that one gained none, so it didn't matter. Or the next ones. Uh, the non-foil gainers, sand sketched planes, uh, from 44 cents to 75 cents. That's a 70% gain. Showtime went from a dollar to dollar twenty. None of this really matters. We're talking nickels and dimes here. Uh, not really that important. Uh, but the cards that lost value, like Blood Rush Ve Velos, you know, it lost five bucks in a foil version. That's a 37% decrease. That's pretty significant. And same with Mugenshi Release. Again, a lot of these Raid Nova foils that people have completed their sets now, they don't need them. So they, they open boxes of cards go on the open market. So Mugenshi Release uh, lost a dollar for 35%. Crazy Brew, the Rainbow Foil, lost a dollar for 30%. And then the non-foil losers across the board, you know, two really no major changes. Crippling Crush lost two bucks for 17%. All right. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for is alpha. I'm going to start this out by saying this. Um, if you want to lose money, you need to spot, sell your cards this week. Uh, the, the market's going to go nuts. This is just the start of the market going nuts uh, as a result of... Uh, the print run changes, right? If you if you aren't familiar, we had print run. They didn't change, but we all thought the print run was twenty two thousand boxes. And what happened is the new print run is sixteen thousand six hundred and sixty six and a half, so sixty seven boxes. And so what what that means is that all the card we basically lost thirty percent of the market. Uh, of what we thought. So uh, what's going on right now is a ton of people have pulled their cards off of eBay, pulled their cards out of TCG Player, and uh, then a bunch of people bought cards at the you know the the higher prices too. Um, so lots of cards being listed and selling instantly. I mean, if you're not looking at eBay and seeing stuff. Uh, go do it. It's a lot of fun. So uh, one of the things that hasn't moved a ton, I mean, sorry, it's gone up 25%. So it has moved a ton. I mean, that's significant. It's gained $900. Uh, but compared to Arcane yesterday, and like uh, if you watch my Arcane video, uh, right 
kind of during and after we had another arcane box sell at that price that i put it higher so arcane went from like 1700 to like more like 3500 dollars a box uh and now uh so it was a huge increase and now uh alpha which is the same print run alpha and wt or wtr alpha and arcane rising first same print run 16,667 boxes and the alpha boxes are only moving 25 percent because i think what everyone agrees with is i mean something i've been saying for a while arcane rising first edition boxes were incredibly undervalued uh, and that's why you saw the significant gains there now starting it today i think you will start seeing arcane and alpha moving together with alpha seeing like a 20 percent increase uh, over arcane simply because it has that alpha name so that's my opinion here's the evidence on the alpha sale um you know we had a whole case sell for sixteen thousand, the case premium a little bit uh, and then we have boxes selling around 4500 uh you know it's just nuts guys uh stuff i mean if you were to, i mean it would sell super so anyway uh if you want more of my opinions uh we'll, we'll talk a little bit about my opinions here but uh, we will also share in my podcast, I have a podcast called If I Were Investing that I talk about what I would be investing in. Uh, and I shared some print data with them today uh, based on some stuff. But all right, the Fabled, uh, here's the deal. There's not going to be a public sale of a Fabled Heart of Fandel for a while. Um, you know, it might start being like months or two months between hand. So, uh, but I do have people who are buying and selling them. I have actually transacted, uh, two hearts of Fandale in the last couple of days. Um, and not me personally, I have ne I will never own a heart of Fandale, but my point is I'm starting to get some words about what the, the value is. And here's the deal. Uh, I would say if you have like the, everything is dependent on the condition. So if you have a heart of fade, no, that will potentially grade like a 9.5. It's seeing a premium of like 30, you know, like 34 to 38 thousand dollars that would be probably where you would be able to to argue for it but if you have a heart of fando and it's raw and it's not going to get a 9.5 or it's pretty obvious that it's not going to get a 9.5 they're selling for more like 24 thousand 24 to 26 maybe even like 22 it just all depends basically what i'm saying is it is so condition centric that my price doesn't really matter what i'm going to try to do is give you like a this is a middle of the road like a very nice condition potentially 9.5 but probably 9.0 heart um that's going to get you what the price i'm putting at at and that very well could be wrong so um just keep that in mind if you're buying a heart of fando you need to be doing your own research obviously uh but this is trying to give you all a snapshot of the market so uh i hope that's all okay with you uh if it's not i don't really know what else to do but uh let's get into the legendaries um the legendaries, so here's the thing. We did have a scab skin post announcement um, sell for, you know, two grand, which last week it was that we had one sell at 1300. So that's a significant increase. Uh, tectonic plating, we had one sell a while ago at 1100. We had another one sell again post announcement at two grand. Um, I still, I'm going to share a little bit of my opinion here. I still think these two numbers are low based on data. Uh, based on the other cards, whatever. Uh, but, you know, kind of, again, this is a snapshot of the last really two days. So keep in mind, things are still moving. Things are still going up. And it really is a seller's market right now. The sellers are really dictating the price. If a seller came out with a price that was close to this, like it would probably sell. Uh, but odds are that sellers are going to put the prices higher than this and wait for a buyer to match them, which is honestly probably going to happen. So uh, scabskin leathers, I'm putting at two grand again. So take all this for the grain of salt. Uh, but there were sold listings at two grand tectonic plating at two grand, two grand. Uh, a mask of momentum at 3500 and then a brave forge bracers which i will pull up uh the mask of momentum i think was on facebook if i remember right uh but a brave forge bracers on ebay selling for 3200 so this is a really good public market understanding of where the market is on the legendaries so i think you can use this to kind of guide your prices as like one of the topper you know top tier I, honestly the ninja one um the ninja one is the uh the mask of momentum is probably the the highest valued class specific one in my opinion uh so brave forge bracers if it's selling for 32 you can probably guess mask of momentum is between 35 and 45 uh scab skin leathers and tectonic plating maybe between 25 and 28 um, and then the spring tunic, uh, I do know that one sold 
for six thousand dollars i know of another one sold that for five thousand that got refunded uh because the seller backed out for some reason um well i know the reason but anyway uh yeah so I, that's what i'm trying to say is that these numbers are probably all pretty loose uh, and if you have the cards, you really need to to look at the conditions because if they are minty, if they are potentially not everything I said about the heart matters with the legendaries too. If they are potentially 9.5s, you really, really, really need to be asking for a premium uh, because the cards are worth more than this. Honestly, this would be kind of a middle of the road value. Although it might be hard to find a buyer who wants to buy one that is not going to grade at a higher than a nine, probably. So. Uh, very interesting stuff that puts us up 50%. This announcement was huge, guys. I mean, there are 817 of these, each one of these something. I mean, that is a minute amount of cards. Uh, and what honestly is going to happen is it's going to become so, so, so difficult to get your hands on any of these cards. And uh, this is where FOMO is honestly going to kick in. Please, I'm begging you, remember, do not overextend yourself. Uh, this is cardboard. Yes, it's worth this value. People are paying this value. That doesn't mean that you should be paying this value if you can't afford it. I can't afford this. Uh, I, I can't afford to spend $3,200 on a Brave Forge Bracer. So uh, I simply won't be doing that uh, because I, I'm not going to. So please, like, watch yourself. Take a deep breath. Remember that this is all just a game. It's all just cardboard. Speaking of cardboard, let's talk about Cold Foil Commons, which I have been preaching at you for a while that these were undervalued. And uh, we are seeing significant increases in all these prices. Uh, I, I I can't afford um, I can't afford a thirty two hundred dollar uh, bracers, but I have been trying to buy up some of the cold foil commons uh, just to finish my set. I actually picked up an iron rock gauntlet last night uh, for three hundred, and then the seller backed out of it on eBay. That's happening all over the place. It's crazy. Um, so th th here's the thing: these prices are sold listings in the last couple of days. Um, again, I think you're going to see a ton of movement on all these cards because, uh, the lowest, like the, the current lowest on most of these is like a thousand dollars. That's the current eBay low price on a lot of these. There are some on TCG player for around 475 or 500. Uh, but the market is really starting to move and pick up the cold foil commons as well as they start to understand how rare the cold foil commons are too. Uh, because they, it, just cause it's common doesn't mean that it's not extremely rare. Uh, and especially that there are 12 of them uh, that makes each individual one very, very rare. Uh, keep in mind, there are only five legendaries. So uh, realistically, there are only about 200 more of each specific cold foil common as each specific legendary, which is a very interesting thing. Again, print run is not the only thing that matters. We've talked about that on the channel. The legendary will always hold a premium above the cold foil common and the fabled will always hold a premium above the legendary out outside of the print run simply because of the rarity and the, the allure of having the product. But cold foil commons also carry this other weight of being like um, an easy entry point. So we'll, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in my uh, later, but uh, but we'll get there. Uh, so here's where it sold those things. I mean, you can see them here. Bark bone strapping 275. That's up a little bit. Heart, uh, Helm of eyes and speak up to 385. Breaking scales like I could not find a sold listing for. Everybody on the market pulled them before you know, the ones that were at 400 sold. So now the lowest one is like 800 bucks or something like that. Refraction bolters sold for 475. Hope Merchant's Hoods went from 170 to 325. Heart and Cross Shop from 203 to 325. Goliath Gauntlet up to 280. Snapdragon Scalers sold for 550. I know of another one that sold for 475. I know of another one that sold for 535. And I know of one that sold for 550. Uh, Iron Rot Helm sold for 325. Iron Rot Plate sold for 285. I bought an Iron Rot Glauntlet for 300. It got refunded. Uh, I saw another one for 335. Um, that I didn't get, um, iron rot legs for uh 320 average cold foil. I know it sounds nuts. I know for those of you who are putting these in bulk bins, you know, a year ago, uh, $350 seems nuts, but the market's here guys. I'm sorry, but the, the market's here uh, and that's up 35%. So crazy stuff. I love it. I absolutely love it. The majestic rainbow foils, uh, you know, not as many of these sold simply because we are back to things that are extremely rare, right? Like this is like, we're going to start seeing one of these every time an, a heart is sold. They're as rare as a heart. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, so spinal crush, uh, up to two twenty-five. 
uh, Ancestral Empowerment, I sold Soul Listing for 300 And let's talk about the Tome of Fiendel. Um, there was one that sold for $1,000 on eBay, but I do want to say uh, the, the seller kind of put in here, uh, the condition is like new or near mint, which is great, but the only thing I see wrong with the card is a print mark next to the draw two cards, which you can see right there, which I'm sure is why it sold for less than the last one that sold. Uh, great on the seller there for disclosing all that stuff, uh, but that's why you're seeing a, a dip. Um, where am I? What am I doing? Oh, that's unlimited. Uh, that's why you're seeing a dip. Uh, so I, I kept the value the same based on that card. I saw for a thousand. So all in all, no huge changes there. Again, finding these cards is going to be impossible. I mean, the eBay, I don't even think you can find them on eBay. On TCG Player, the lowest listed is like 800 bucks, 1000 bucks. The lowest listed in Light and Strike on the market right now is $9,000. <laughs> I know of people who have had offers. Yeah, I, I honestly, I should change this. I probably should because I know people who have had offers for more than 3500 but they're just not selling them. So the market is, uh, is there. I mean, it's crazy. All right, the Majestics. Uh, lots of these sold a lot of people picking these up uh, some weird things like a cripple and crush the, the price went down I guess it's not weird. It's just what the market did glint the click silver went down to 48 uh, Steel blade supremacy though up to 70 uh, Enlightened strike up to 350 Toma Fiendo up to 160 uh, That puts everything at an average of $91 or up 14% and you can see I mean on all these cards It's not even really worth looking at the graph. I mean you have a little dip, but everything's moving kind of up the super rare rainbow foils, about five of them that I saw that sold. Again, I think if you were to put a bonehead barrier rainbow foil up right now for 60 bucks, it would probably sell, but nobody's doing that. So it's hard to see where the recent sales are because there's just simply no recent sales. So, uh, you know, like Sand Sketch Plan, the last one that sold was on uh, February 15th on the open market that I saw. So. Keep that all in mind. Uh, you know, Singing Steel Blade sold for 150. Iron Song Determination for 124. Kind of those warrior cards. Uh, really, really hot right now. Uh, Route up from 50 to 120. Showtime up 100 to uh, 120. That's a, a valuation of another 22% on these cards. So uh, your average is sitting at 86 bucks. And then for the non foil super rares, uh, a lot of them sold again. Really not tons of growth. Really your biggest thing again is singing steel blade was last week's price was a little low, I guess. And so just retracement back up to what it was. Uh, your average is sitting at $14 for a super rare non-foil. All right, let's take a look at the Drone of Brutality check on Alpha. That's all anybody cares about. I'm still seeing, you know, it, it's just nuts. I mean, 150 is currently the lowest listed on TCG Player. There have been a, a, a few more that, you know, people are reducing their prices. Do not pay $150 for uh, Drone of Brutality Rainbow Foil. Remember, most of these prices are TCG low. I did go in and pull up the most recent sold of these ones. Drone of Brutality Yellow for 36. So, uh, Drone of Brutality Blue for 70. All these are down from what they were last week. Silly people. Uh, all in all, everybody has raised their prices about 6% on the Rainbow Foil Rares at your average looking at $33. And then the rare, uh, the rares, this is the non-foil, are actually down 20%, 21%. Uh, a lot of this is due to drone of brutality. I mean, we're seeing 1899, 25, 25 sold. This week, these were actual sold listings at 10, 10, and 10. So, uh, you know, I mean, nobody should have bought drone of brutality. We'll see what happens long term. I mean, if, if people have diamond hands and never let them up, the, the price will never grow down because, you know. Nobody's going to sell them for less than they bought them for. But anyway, the common rainbow foils don't really matter. Your average is locking in at the same as it was last week. All right, let's get to the EV calculation. Um, if you were to open 40 boxes, you'd end up hitting the fabled. Uh, you'd end up with an EV per box of around $3,090.62. Uh, uh, if you take out the non-foil commons from that, you're not going to be able to sell them. You'd be sitting at twenty nine hundred thirty eight and forty six cents, two thousand nine hundred thirty eight and forty six cents. But if you only open one box, you're sitting at a net loss of what three grand. <laughs> Your price would be one thousand two hundred and fifty three dollars and forty three cents. Uh, you're really you're you're shooting for that that lottery ticket at thirty grand in your chance of the fabled. So let's compare that to the last week. 
Uh, last week we were at uh, 2443. Uh, let's see, did that change? 2938. Yeah. Uh, so all in all, all the cards have gone up 20%. This is a, by and large due to cold foils, I will say. Um, very, very interesting to see that. And here's your top 10 cards to gain value. Route uh, gained uh, went from 50 to 120. That's a 140% gain. Brave Forge Bracers, the cold foil went from 1500 to $3,200. That's a $1,700 gain at uh, 113%. Iron Song Determination uh, went from 60 to 124 That's a 106% gain. And then you have one, two, three, four. Uh, four common cold foils, another legendary in the tectonic plating. All this stuff is going up. It's nuts. Tomorrow we'll have a top 10 of the whole market uh, for the, the losers and gainers. Uh, the non-foil gainers route again on the list went from 10 to 17. That's up 70%. Blood Rush Bellow went from 22 to 35. That's 59%. And Steel Blade Supremacy went from 40 to or 47 to 70. And that's a 48% gain. Singing Steel Blade again on that list. A lot of Warrior cards because I'm telling you, the people who play the game are affecting even the investment side of the game because it creates the cards that are iconic to the gameplay. So very important to keep that all in mind so uh all right uh we talked about that a little bit in my podcast actually the other day there nothing is losing value uh, hardly anything uh the potions were down a little bit you know people lowered the price from 125 to 120 is what it is uh nothing was down uh and then uh a lot of the super rare non-foils were also down scan sketch plan lost 42 percent Last stitch effort. Nobody plays these cards. Nobody cares about these cards. Down forty percent, and then glit the quicksilver, which is the opposite, right? This one is like Louis. You were wrong because here we have a majestic. That's a warrior card going from sixty-five to forty-eight dollars. Uh, that's a loss of twenty-six percent. Uh, honestly, that's just a bad sell. They they shouldn't have sold it that low. So. Honestly, uh, the market has been absolutely crazy. I cannot wait to talk about um, the the top ten uh, winners and gainers tomorrow, and uh, I can't wait to do my my my. Uh, if I were investing this week, it's going to be a really really good one. Um, sorry, that sounded very prideful. Uh, what I meant by that is that I'm really excited about it. Uh, so it's been great. Let me know what you think about the market down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I do read all the comments and, and enjoy seeing your thoughts. And uh, let me know if you think I missed something. I mean, it's been crazy, guys. I mean, there's been so much moving and going. Uh, that it's, uh, honestly, it was really difficult to make sure I tried to get everything. I did look on Facebook, on TCG Player, on Discord, and on eBay. And I'm sure I did miss some things. But you can see the market is going crazy. Uh, in my opinion, you better hold on and wait because it's, it's going to be wild. It's going to be a crazy couple weeks, a crazy month. I do want to say one final thing for those of you who are still listening. If you are buying and if you are selling cards, please, please, please remember to be kind to the people that you are buying and selling cards from and to. And remember to have integrity in your sales. If you sell a card and then the next day a card spikes up, you know, 100%, have integrity. Don't go back on your sale. Have your word be your bond. Um, if you were willing to sell it yesterday at a hundred dollars, that that is the price that you needed to leave it for. And so, be honest and do not go back on your sales. I've seen so much of that going on this week, and it drives me nuts. Uh, that is not being kind to each other. That is, I'm not, I'm not lecturing you, but uh, that is not the type of community we want to have here in Flesh and Blood. Let's be a community of integrity. And um, anyway, hope you all have a great day. Remember to be kind to the people around you. And uh, I can't wait to keep talking about this stuff.